guys, it is Arika Misha, and today we are getting ready to cook dinner. This is a any anytime you want to cook kind of meal. Um, but today we are gonna have fried butterfly pork chops. Y'all will see why I'm calling them butterflied. Uh, <clears throat> and yes, we're gonna be cooking um, this instant rice. It's kind of like that Minute Maid rice that I cooked, that real quick rice. Uh, Publix has their own brand of it. They call it the uh, enriched long grain instant white rice. I've gotten this before. I don't know if I've cooked it on my channel before, but yeah. That's that quick boil the water, put the rice in, take it off the heat and cover it up, just like the uh, Minute Maid rice I always cook. And I got some Publix brand golden cream style sweet corn. This is the cream corn. I love cream corn. I love it. It's so good. All right, I got two of those, and I got some. Don't know if y'all have seen these before, but these are cornbread toaster tops. Try these just cornbreads, and they shape, as you guys can see, like little, like little pancakes. You can toast them if you want, but they just basically, they cornbread, try. They just cornbread. So, um, I've gotten these before. I've seen these at Publix, and I was like, oh, try they just regular cornbread, just as y'all can see. So, y'all might definitely want to try these out if y'all see these at Publix. I'm sure your Publix probably has them. I don't know. Y'all know how some stores got some things and some stores don't. But they just little cornbreads, try. Just little, little cornbread cakes. So, y'all gonna see. And let me show y'all my pork chops. Y'all already know they have been marinating all night all night y'all know i'm bringing them in for y'all yes 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 marinating all night and the reason why they call them butterfly pork chops is because these are the thicker pork chops and um they just slice them you know slice them open you know kind of give it the butterfly effect they call it try see if i can show y'all yeah it's kind of like yeah, it becomes like a, a butterfly kind of shape. So, these are really good for frying. So, all right, y'all. That's what we're going to have. We're going to have fried pork chop, white rice with cream corn over the white rice, and cornbread. Oh, yeah. That sounds like a Sunday best to me. And my Kurt Franklin voice can't really do it like Kurt, but Sunday's best. <laughs> oh, my God. Let go. All right, guys, I've got my water going for my rice. Gonna do about four cups of rice. Me and the girls, we love rice, and I love this quick rice. Um, my cream of corn, as you guys can see, I've got both cans dumped out here um, in this pot, in my little mini pot. Um, I did add, I left it on top so you guys can see. I did um, add some parsley, I added some uh, garlic herb seasoning, and I added some a little salt. Because, um, yeah, the cream corn, I mean, you know, I want a little flavor. We like a little flavor in there, are fine. So, like I said, just added a few little seasons in the cream corn. So, just to give it a little, oh yeah, you know. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright, moving on to our rice. As you can see, my water is boiling back there. So when your water is boiling, this is when you want to add your rice. And like I said, I'm doing four cups. One cup of rice. Two cups of rice. Three cups of rice. Four cups of rice. All right, got my four cups of rice in there. Let me get my fork. I thought I had a fork out already. Okay, guess not. But all right, so we're gonna go ahead, stir in that rice. Stir that rice in just like that. And I did add one tablespoon of salt to my water before it started boiling. All right, so with the rice, that's it. The rice is done. You cut that heat off. Let me get my top to the rice. I put my top on my rice. And you move it off, off the eye, away from the heat. And you let it sit over there for five minutes. And that's it. That's it for the rice. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, rice. Quick rice. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, anyway. So, 
All right, and we've got, like I said, my cream of corn. Got a little rice there. Let's move that off. Y'all know I'm OCD. I do not like messes. All right, so we got our cream of corn here. Now, of course, we know we ain't got to cook the cream of corn. So the only thing we're doing is just warming up that cream of corn, heating it up. So I've got the cream of corn on a low heat. So can y'all see that? It's kind of dwarf. Okay. Y'all can see. I got my pan over there ready to get, get this pork chop fried up. Let me show y'all the cream of corn. Y'all see all those seasonings I got in there? Want to do a little something, add something to your cream of corn. You don't want to just have plain cream of corn. Add some seasonings to it, you know? Give it a little life. And of course, I put my parsley in there to give it a little greenery. Yes, greenery. And the parsley is our green for the day. <laughs> that there, that uh, parsley is our green. Yep, that's the green. If you're looking for greenery, that's it. Parsley always showing up for me. Doing what he does best. I'm stirring those seasonings in real good. Make sure I mix them up all good. All right. And that's it for our cream of corn. I got it on a low heat. I'm going to cover it up. Let me get my top for that. We've got that on a low heat. And we're just going to let that slowly warm up. That's it. For our rice and cream corn. Cream style corn. I love cream of corn. If I didn't say that already. I love cream style corn. It just reminds me of a nice soft creamy corn soup. Over the white rice. It's so good. Y'all got to try it. It's a must have. So. Alright guys. So we got the rice and cream of corn ready. So I'm going to go ahead. You guys see my pan over there. I'm going to go ahead and get my oil in my pan. So we can get ready to. Um, oh. Let me show y'all the corn. What I'm going to do with the cornbread. Uh, now the cornbread, I ain't got to cook it. It's already cooked. I mean, you can toast them in the toaster, you know, to kind of give them a little toast. But, you know, I like my cornbread. We like our cornbread soft. So, let me bring y'all back right here. And I'll show y'all. The only thing I'm going to do. Excuse me, y'all. All right, the only thing I'm going to do with my cornbread... Let me back y'all up to the plate. All right, I hope that's enough light. Okay, the only thing I'm doing with the cornbread is taking it out of its container. And I'm just going to lay it out on this plate. And the only thing I'm going to do, I'll just pop these cornbread poppers. I'll just pop them in the uh, microwave to warm them up. That's it. They already nice, soft cornbread. Like I said, you could toast them however you choose to do it. It's totally up to you. You can toast them to make them like a little toasty or whatever. Okay, if I can get this open. I'm telling you, man. I be struggling sometimes. Like, what? Okay. Come on, child. That's open. Ugh. Okay. The struggle is real. Can I get these open, please? Hold on, you all. Hold on. Why? He's not opening. <coughs> all right, y'all. <coughs> Ooh, bless me, Lord. All right, y'all. Let me get these cornbread things open. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. Back to my cornbread. Jeez, the struggle of getting these things open. Come on here. I don't know why they make their containers so difficult to open. Like, seriously? Come on. Okay. Anyway, give y'all a close little look. Cute little cornbread cakes. It's just cornbread, y'all. But it's so cute. I like how they have it in like a little cake. You know, like a little pancake style. And you get six in a pack. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. It's six in a pack. And they were $4.99. They were $4.99. So good. They smell like Jiffy cornbread. Y'all know we love Jiffy now. Jiffy cornbread. So, I'm just going to lay my cornbread out. Six in the pack. That is not bad. Alright, now the others, I'm not going to warm them up. 
if I, if I, yeah, I could probably warm them up later, but right now I'm just gonna do these. Actually, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and do them all. Cause I know I'm gonna want a couple of pieces. I know the girls, they love cornbread, so. We're gonna just put them on here all nice and cute, or whatever. See, and those are our cornbread, little cornbread cakes. And all I gotta do is just put them in the microwave for like, for like 10 to 15 seconds, just to warm them up. And if that's not hot enough, you know, put it in about another 10 seconds. That's your little quick little cornbread. Already ready for you, girl. Already ready. You ain't gotta pull up the Jiffy boxes. These are already ready. So, all right. That's our cornbread. We got that ready. So, let's get over here. I'll be back to get this uh, butterfly pork chop fried up. All right, let's get this pork chop fried up. I already got my pork chop lightly floured over here. You all see it, you all see it. Let's go. Let's fry some pork chops. And like I told y'all, I love how um, they have it cut in a butterfly style. I love it. I think I'll probably only be able to fit two in here. Yeah. Try to see if I can squeeze a third one in there. I'm gonna see. Y'all know how we do. Let me see. Yeah. I don't think I'll be able to squeeze a third one in there. I might. Let me see. Might be able to fit this smaller one over here. Yep. Sure can. All right. I got three of them in my pan. All right. We're going to leave them alone. We're going to let them get all pretty and brown and fried up. That's what we going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get these other pork chops floured up. But y'all see, we got our pork chop in the oil. Our vegetable oil. <laughs> y'all know I've been cooking with that public brand vegetable oil. Uh, so, yeah. Like I said, I don't know if that's going to make our frying healthier, but whatever. That's what I'm telling myself. Vegetable oil. So, it's healthier. So, we getting our veggies in. <laughs> Ooh, child, we getting our veggies in with the veggie oil, child. All right, let's get these pork chops fried up. We're going to go ahead and give them a minute to fry up nice and brown, guys. And y'all know I will be back to show y'all the fried pork chops. All right, y'all hear them. They ready to come out. They are ready. Our butterfly fried pork chops are ready. They are ready to come out and they look delicious. They look amazing. Oh yeah, they ready. They ready to come out. I want y'all to see the goodness. Look at that goodness. Butterfly pork chops. Oh yes sir, yes sir. Let me get these other ones out. I ain't trying to find my pork chops now. Oh, yes. Oh, they look amazing. They smell amazing. Oh, my God. Mm, 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 mm. Woo-wee. Look at that. See? That's why they, they cut them like that. Butterfly pork chops. They look like butterflies. Ooh, fried butterfly pork chops. That sounds good to me. Woo-wee, y'all. All right, y'all know that oil is nice and hot. I gotta get that next batch in. Let me put these down. Woo-wee. That oil is hot. That's what I like. Give me some hot oil so I can cook my food. Yeah. Woo, let's get the rest of this pork chop in there. Yeah. My other pork chop flour real quick. Get it in there. We got to go. Yeah, because the oil is hot. See if I can fit this last one in there. Hopefully I can fit it in there. I'm going to squeeze it in there if I can't. Ooh -wee. That oil is popping. Yeah. It is popping. That's why I like some nice hot oil. Go on and cook my food up. Yes. All right, y'all. So, let me get my hands washed real quick. Got that last batch of butterfly poke chops. 
Butterfly Pork Chops. We got that last batch in there, y'all. And when I come back, it's going to be the grand finale. All right, guys. This is the grand finale. I got everything on the table. We got our white rice, cornbread, cream-style corn, and the Butterfly Pork Chops. Ooh, let me take y'all in to the Butterfly Pork Chops. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. They look so good. Yes, they do. Mm, mm, mm. Butterfly poke chops. Ooh, they look amazing. Mm, 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 mm. Nicely fried up. Yes, they do. I can't wait to eat. So I'm going to make this outro real short. This is Arika Misha. Y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge is power. Bye.